Now, even though Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are not focusing on Texas, that hasn't stopped some of our state's politicians from making waves. Joining us to talk about it, Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune. This is one of those weeks where you kind of look back and you think, huh, did that really happen? Let's start with Sid Miller. It happened. <laughs> um, Tuesday, he, his account, uh, you know, was, in, you know, very involved on Twitter all day, yes. talking about Trump and promoting Trump. And uh, a staffer evidently retweeted, um, well, copy and pasted, didn't exactly retweet, but okay. um, uh, kind of a, a poll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that referred to Clinton as the, a C word, right. the, an obscene term. Right. And, uh, you know, after 15 minutes, removed it claimed they had been hacked and then removed that tweet and said actually it was a staffer who tweeted it not realizing what it said. Right. So the fact that, you know, there was a lie mixed in there, um, you know, doesn't bode well. I mean, Sid Miller's no stranger to Twitter controversy, mm -hmm. if you will, but mm -hmm. also that, you know, might be welcomed by a candidate that he's pushing, which is Donald Trump. Donald Trump. What What is going to happen to the staffer then he said um, that that staffer has been dealt with? I don't know what that means. Well, well, yeah, we don't exactly know. Um, you know, and the political repercussions remain to be seen. In the immediate aftermath, you did see, um, you know, strong rebuke from rem Republicans and Democrats alike, mm -hmm. uh, including Governor Abbott, who said that's not the way Texas gentlemen speak. Mm, okay. So. Um, let's see. Congressman Michael McCall, he is also making some headlines because he's talking about, you know, should Hillary Clinton win the race for the White House, then his next step says um, impeach her. Yeah, yesterday in an interview on Fox News, the Austin congressman said, you know, win or lose on Tuesday, the investigation into her use of a personal email server will continue. Very, and, of course, if she does win, uh, the House will be ready to look into articles of impeachment. Mm. He thinks, uh, you know, went as far to say that in this latest stage of the investigation, there might be an email that surfaces that she says, hey, it's classified, but send it anyway, showing intent, of course. Uh, you know, that remains to be seen if that email is in fact found. So, uh, but yeah, pretty strong words uh, coming from that chairman. Yeah. Okay. Some other words coming from Senator John Cornyn is that he voted yesterday. Yes. Um, and he said that he was going to vote for some Democrats here in Travis County. Was that surprising? And do we know who? Uh, we don't know exactly who. He did allude to the fact that it was in, uh, you know, races where there wasn't a Republican on the ballot. Of course, that's not unheard of here sure. in blue Travis County. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, kind of begs to question his conservative bona fides, uh, you know, when it comes to GOP leaders pushing straight ticket voting so the Republicans down ballot don't suffer from a controversial Trump at the top of the ticket. Right. Um, you know, again, he says no, he's just acknowledging and embracing the political climate here as a constituent that he knows and respects, um, you know, some of these uncontested Democrats. Okay, early voting's happening right now. 717, the polls are open. Let's